Okay, in the previous video I showed you how to create a private labeling workforce for SageMaker Ground Truth. So now let's create a labeling job. First, we're going to give it a name. Uh, yeah, job demo one. And of course, the next step is to define the location of data in Amazon S3. So there are really two ways you can do this. Uh, you can have your uh, data laying around, just like this. In this case, I'm going to label images. So I have a bunch of images in an S3 bucket. Uh, and that's all I have. Or you could actually bring a, a manifest file. So a manifest file is just a JSON file listing the, the data sample, so in this case, the, um, the images that need to be labeled. But I can create that manifest file automatically. So, um, so let's do that. And let's just enter the path to those images. Okay, so here I am working with images. We'll see the different types of labeling jobs in a second. The manifest is being created. And again, this is just a simple JSON file. Um, and I guess it is visible. Yeah, it is visible in S3. Okay, so just a, a simple JSON file listing the samples to be labeled. Okay, but if you have an existing manifest from a previous job, of course, you can reuse that one. Where to save labeled information? So let's just say, hey, I want to put it here. I need an IAM role to uh, allow SageMaker access uh, in, in S3. Uh, so fine, I can reuse that. And now we get to the important stuff, of course, selecting a task type. So as you can see, we can pick from image, text, or custom tasks. Okay, so let's look at all three. So images uh, are uh, available for classification, uh, so assigning labels to the full picture. A bounding box, where you draw uh, rectangles, bounding boxes, around uh, objects that you want the model to, uh, to train on. Segmentation where you assign groups of pixels to specific objects in the image, and label verification. So this is a newer feature. And um, this is a really important one because it lets you run uh, quality assurance uh, jobs on, um, on labeling jobs that have already completed. So workers can actually review uh, annotations and decide if they're OK or not. All right, so that's image tasks. For text, you can do text classification for sentiment analysis, for example. And you can do entity recognition. So you can highlight specific words or sentences within text and say, hey, this is, a, I don't know, this is a product name, this is a company name, this is a, 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 a date, etc., etc. So whatever entities you would like to to highlight and train a natural language processing model on. Okay, and we can do custom as well. So uh, we can uh, define custom workflows for annotations. We can plug in Lambda functions. Um, this is quite easier than it used to be when the service was first launched. And uh, we actually have uh, quite a few examples in the documentation. So please look at that if you have specific labeling needs. So here we're going to stick with images and I want to show you segmentation, okay? And that's about it. Let's click on next. Now I have to select my workforce. And of course, this is where I want to select the team I created in the private video. Um, there's a really, really great option here for uh, automatic uh, data labeling. So I'm not going to use it here because it takes some time to uh, to get the job done, and of course, you know, and 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 I also need much more data. So let me explain. Um, the way this works is basically 
humans will start annotating data. And a machine learning model is going to be trained in parallel on those human annotations. And when the machine learning model is able to label samples with the same level of confidence as humans, then it's going to kick in and it's going to start labeling at scale. And of course, this means that um, you can label more data much faster and without the needs, the need for humans anymore. So it's a combination of human workers starting to label, providing um, a, a training set, right? An initial training set, so to speak, for the, for the machine learning model to, to learn from. And then as, is match, as it matches the quality of human uh, labelers, it just takes over and completes the, the data labeling effort. So faster and cheaper because uh, you don't need humans anymore. Okay, but then again, I would need more data. I just have uh, seven or eight pictures here, and uh, and I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so let's look at this part, which is what workers are going to see. Um, this is the um, the instruction screen that workers will see in the console that uh, I logged into a few minutes ago. So you would want to provide instructions here, right? Uh, you would want to provide a proper example, so a properly segmented image and a poorly segmented image. Because, you know, sometimes those things are a little ambiguous, so you want to show exactly how you expect images to be to be labeled. So I'm not going to do it here in the interest of time, but please make sure you actually uh, add instructions and samples so that your workers know exactly what you want to do here. And of course, we need some text instructions. So um, this task will be about um, segmenting guitar players um, and, and singers. Okay, And I'm going to add labels for that. So let's call that guitarist, and let's call this one vocalist. Okay, and I guess I should use the same terms to be precise, right? You really want those instructions to be as clear as possible, uh, especially if you're working with uh, external workers. If you're working with people inside the company, you know, fine they have context they know what to do if you're working with third-party vendors or mechanical turk you need to be as explicit as possible okay and i can just create the job now and i see this job appearing in the console so i get all kinds of information here and i get a i, I can browse images uh, from uh, from my s3 bucket okay so this takes a few minutes to, um, to, to be fully ready for annotation. So let's, uh, let's pause here. And in the, in the last video, I'll show you how to get the labeling done. Okay, see you in a minute.